Do you ever try before just spending loads of money to buy something to test pH? The problem is no more. In today's project video, we are going to be using some red cabbage, a cup of water, and a blender to make a cheap but effective pH tester. We are using 100 milliliters of water and this will give us the best results to test the pH. Okay, now we have peeled off all the leaves from the red cabbage. Now we start blending. Put in the leaves one by one into the blender. Then put in the water. Then you can just start the process of blending. Okay, now if you think that your results are not very satisfying, add 50 ml of water to the mixture. Then continue blending or if you are still not satisfied, then you can add even more water to, uh, to your mixture. Okay, and now we have finished blending the mixture. Remove the cup from the blender, then pour it into this measuring cup or beaker. roughly a bit more than 100 ml if you have put 100 ml of water inside. Okay, so now we have a very dense pH tester, but we are not finished with it yet. You have, you still have some vegetables stuck in there. So I made a little tape coffee filter glass to filter out those vegetables. Now pour it in slowly and make sure it does not drip over the edges. Oops. Looks like I made a bit of a mess here. Now you can see the pure liquid dripping through without all those mess, you know, the tiny bits of the vegetables. Now you slowly pour until it's it fully through and all of the substance you have made is poured. Now remember to clean off all the stains on the table as fast as possible because these stains are pretty stubborn and won't clean off like maybe one day one day after you do the work. And okay now we got our test subject. This is soap. This is vinegar. Baking uh, the washing powder for washing clothes and sodium hydroxide, also known as bleach. Now the grand test. Uh, if it is red, means it's acidic, and if it is green or blue, means it is alkaline or base, as you call it. First, it's the soap. It has turned slightly 
lighter purple means it is only very slightly alkaline. As you can see, this is not purple and this has become light purple. And now for the filling. Now you can see, once I poured it in, it has turned pink, which is uh, pretty acidic. As you know, the vinegar has a pH level of 3 to so 3.5. And now for the washing powder. It has a pH level of roughly 12 to 13. And here it goes. And it has a slight blue, or what you say, aqua color. And finally, the last contestant. The most is corrosive sodium hydroxide or bleach. Uh, now it has turned yellow, but you need to see the results in the first about 0.5 seconds. Uh, in like the first 0.5 seconds. And you yeah, see it turned very dark blue and then it turned yellow. It turned yellow because it has the ability to wash off color. As you know, bleach is for washing off color on the blend. So these are our test results exception of the bleach. This alkaline or acidity tester can test it because it is a natural plant that contains color pigments and Usually plant color pigments will react to substances with different pH level and they always change color but not used, usually ranging from red to blue with many other color variations.